Okay, I'm going to do a golf swing analysis here today of Colin Morikawa. just want to say this young man's an absolute surgeon with his irons. He's able to control his distance extremely well. And he also has a little fade shot that he can use. So if you look at the two lines here on the screen, it's tracking his backswing and downswing. So the yellow line is going to be his backswing where the club head's moving. And the orange line will be his downswing where the club head's moving. You can see he's doing a really good job of keeping those really close to each other. And there's not going to have to be a lot of rerouting throughout the swing. And let's just take a quick look at his setup here. You can see he uses quite a bit of knee flexion. You can see he's staying pretty relaxed here in his upper body, allowing his head to slack off the back line. See his hands are hanging inside his chin line, just right, pretty much right underneath his shoulder, allowing the club to extend pretty much into his belt line there. See his set up pretty square as far as his shoulders, hips, and feet. So let's go ahead and just kind of wind him up to the top here. Now as he goes off his takeaway, you can see he keeps his lower body pretty quiet. He's doing a good job of staying in a one-piece uh, takeaway here where the club's really connected to his body. If you look at his club face angle at this moment, it's pretty much dead square to his spine line. So he hasn't manipulated the face at all. And he's allowing things just to kind of stay in one piece. Lower body staying pretty quiet at this moment. Now as he continues to coil and wind up, you can see he allows his head to drop a little as he's arriving towards the top. Does a good job of keeping flexion here in his knees, but he, but he is allowing freedom of some movement there where they're not staying too stagnant. You can see the lower body itself coils up just a touch here. We can see his arm line's running a little bit higher than the shoulder line. Back of the hand is maybe just slightly bowed, if not directly flat in line with the arm line there. And if you saw where the club was setting here, we'll go ahead and just mark that angle too. You can see he's creating a lot of parallel lines as far as his set angle, his arm line, and the back of his hand line to his arm line there. So as he goes to transition, he's going to allow the weight to flow a little bit to the left. You can see the core starting to unwind as the club's falling into its slot. Right arm getting right into the side there. And the face at this moment is in a great position. It's really square. The back of his left hand is pointed slightly down where the knuckles are in a good position. Right foot's driving off the ground a little. And you can see he's keeping his shoulders really square to the target at this moment. So as he swings through to his finish, we can kind of see his release angle here. This is a really nice finish position. Knees are kind of kissing each other, getting all the way around. He has great balance and tempo in his swing. If you watch him play, he really has a very nice sense of rhythm. He never seems to try to overhit, and he has just very good precision in his golf game here. So we're going to focus on one thing here that's highly important for good iron play, and that's this shoulder line. So you can see as he's winding up, his shoulders are kind of going to be on this angle. And as he goes to hit through and finish his shot here, if you notice his shoulder line here, see how they pretty much matched up exactly. He's done a great job of staying in his posture and just kind of turning on that same axis there around his shoulders. Also, if you mark a rear line back here, you can see he's doing a great job of staying in there where he's not allowing that to pop out too much. So he's staying down and through the ball, head staying down, and the shoulders are winding up and unwinding on that same angle there, which is keeping him very consistent with his swing. He has an effortless sequence as he's unwinding into the ball here. You can see him really getting into some good hitting angles. And he just does a great job with his club face and his shaft angles throughout his swing. So not only is he fundamentally sound, he also has a great sense of touch and feel in his swing. Okay, that was Colin Morikawa. Hopefully going over his swing today here with his iron play can help you out with your own game. And you all have a good day now. Thank you.